और सॉफ्टली चंद्रमा की सतह पे लैंड हो चुका है After the successful soft landing of the Chandrayaan-3 on the south pole of the moon, the Indian Space Research Organization will be now studying the sun. So yes, after moon, it is sun. The Indian Space Research Organization has now officially announced the date of the Aditya L1 launch. So the ISRO has said that the Aditya L1 mission will be launched from Sri Hari Kota on 2nd of September. Remember the ISRO chairman S. Somna just couple of days back when the Chandrayaan-3 had the soft landing on the moon's surface. He said that the satellite has already reached the Sri Hari Kota and that's the place from where uh, the launch will actually take place uh, of the Aditya L1 as well. So why is is Aditya L1 very important for the India? So the Aditya L1, of course, is the first uh, space of, of of the India to actually study the sun. So through Aditya L1, the ISRO will be studying the outermost layer of uh, uh, the sun. And moreover, uh, the main objective of the Aditya L1 is also uh, to understand the solar activities. Moreover, the corona of the uh, sun as well. So the Aditya L1, the satellite, will actually travel uh, from. Sri Hari Kota, it will almost have 1.5 million kilometer of journey uh, before it gets uh, gets into the designated position of the halo orbit uh, around the L1 of a solar and earth system. So yes, that's the important mission that the India has taken it up, though the many countries would have uh, done, it, uh, done it earlier as well. But the, for the India, it is first of its kind and the India is really looking forward to understand the solar's out outermost layer in depth there again because uh, what we are also given to understand is that the Aditya L1 will uh, carry almost seven special payloads through which it will do in-depth uh, study as well uh, to understand the space weather uh, in the real time and also the solar wind as well insignificantly. So that will be the significant study that will be carried by the Aditya L1 and mainly through the seven payloads that are actually being uh, uh, on uh, will be on this Aditya L1 will be studying the photosphere, the chronosphere and uh, also uh, the corona of the sun as well so this is an important mission that the india is right now speaking about but again this time uh, all the fingers crossed because now the the israel is very confident saying that this mission of course will be successful as well because they are again very confident about it but what is more important as well the all the crucial elements that the israel wants to look forward to and also study as well so that is really going to be important because right after the success uh, the successful soft landing of the Chandrayaan 3, the India is all now geared up to see what exactly the information is going to come out with this significant study that will be carried by the ISRO to understand the uh, sun's outermost uh, layer there again. So through Aditya L1 uh, will actually help uh, to observe the sun directly that's of course very important and clearly as well and then go and study all the solar activities.